Acton and scores of other places in Britain congratulated themselves that this was the outstanding bank holiday weekend for several years. Hot without being sweltering, so that millions were able to feel they hadn't a care in the world. There was just one thing casting a slight cloud over Clacton, the possibility that the mods and rockers might once again descend on the town. Any who did sensed that the police would be more than ready for them. Clacton had no intention of being a battleground again. It really has come to something when people can't take a short holiday without the threat of long-haired youngsters with knives indulging in an orgy of hooliganism. Fortunately, the kiddies knew nothing about it and had a wonderful time. Of course, there always was more than a hint of violence in Punch and Judy, but nobody ever got hurt. If Brighton did not do record holiday business, it must have been very close to it. That unfailing recipe, sun, sea and the beach, was mixed to perfection. Brighton did not go scot-free. Before the holiday was over, 76 mods and rockers were arrested. For the rest, it was pretty well perfect. The seaside place that dominated the headlines this time was Margate. Rumour of invasion by undesirables was borne out. There they were on the beach, waiting apparently for somebody to start something. That suited the police. They said that the would-be troublemakers were well under observation so long as they stayed there. Reinforcements to the ranks of law and order seemed more than enough to cope with anything that might happen. On the whole, they were, though they could not completely prevent it. More than 50 were arrested in Margate, where a magistrate fined them a total of nearly 2,000 pounds. What a wonderful contrast. 